I'm going to show you guys how to put in exclusion criteria into a question such that if they don't agree with the consent form, it kicks them out of the survey and they're not allowed to take any of the other questions. But let's get started on this. And like always, make, make multiple copies of your Qualtrics test because it doesn't cost nothing. And this is how you make a copy over here. You simply... Go here and then scroll over and it says make a copy, copy project, and you get a copy project. So this one already is a copied project. So let's start here. And I have three exclusion criteria. First of all, if they do not agree with this phony consent form, they'll be kicked out. If they're not at least six feet tall, they'll be kicked out. And if they don't like chocolate, they will be kicked out. Kabam. So right off the bat, you need to start with making three separate end of survey comments that will address either they didn't agree with the phony consent or they're not at least six feet tall or they didn't like chocolate. So each, each one of these will get its own end of survey. We're going to go to survey options, scroll down. We're going to go to custom. You're going to go to your library and I, you pre-made these, right? So I made one for, the, the no chocolate for you if you don't like chocolate. If they're not six feet tall, they get the no not tall enough. And if they said no to the consent form, they get said no to the consent form. If you don't click any of these, if you just click the default, you just get the simple Qual Qualtrics message that says, thank you for taking our survey. So that's the first thing you got to do is you got to do these, make these new messages. How do you do that is just simply click a new message and then make sure you name it up here and then type it up here, blah, 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 and then save it. Very important to save it, and it will show up on your list. But I already made mine, right? I already made mine. So let's keep going. Okay, from the page, you click on it, and you simply go to the first question. You'll notice it says block one. We're going to do this the block way. Notice in block one, it has the phony consent form. And this is the, the three exclusion variables here. Bam, bam, bam. So here's the question. It's still in the same block, right? This is still in block one. So the consent form is the first question, even though it's text, okay? The second form is the question. So I want them, when they click no, it will send them to a thank you, but you did not agree with this consent form. So what you do is you click this bad boy. You go up to survey flow. And so this is right after block one. So we're going to add something here. We're going to add what we call a branch. And that branch is for that question at the end of the block. And it is pretend to agree with this. Don't go by the numbers because I kind of messed around with this. But this is if you don't agree with this consent form, then you're not going to take this survey. And we're going to put if they select no, okay, we're going to send them to a new end of survey, the ones that we just customized built. We're going to go to the overrides and we want the custom message. And I want the one that says, no, you didn't, you said no to the consent form. Bam. Click OK. Click save. Hold on, let me get the save button on here for you. Click save. It's way down here. So you're going to save the flu. And let's do a quick preview. We're going to click preview, and it's going to look like this. So here's the consent form. And do I agree with it? No. Boom. Took me to this one. Isn't that nice? So, and if you do agree with it, there's a consent form. Do I agree with it? Yes. I should just be able to take the rest of the survey. Ta -da, there it is. So, so I hope this helps. MGZ out.